<clears throat> so um, I, as always I'm just going to save you uh, the solution explorer and I'll just add the new um, a new source file to my project name it uh, C++ file as always I will go to the source uh, subdirectory for that and of course it always is the same I'm just going to say main and say add main uh, main uh, uh, source file to my program so I'm um, uh, using input output stream library to uh, get access to std sin and c out Uh, which represent character input and output. CSTD lib we used to prevent our window from closing and of course we're going to have integer main which will return zero as a minimum but also we'll say system pause Uh, and uh, today, a couple of new things. Uh, when we mentioned those resource management uh, uh, classes, uh, a lot of them you can use instead of writing them from scratch. You can you can get them from the standard library. You can say include string. Okay, so the string. Uh, is is a is an object which is uh, designed to accommodate characters. For example, I can say um, std uh, c out uh, welcome. Uh, please enter a string. Okay, something like this. And then I can use std sin to get uh, input into um, some kind of uh, input variable. And I can declare this input variable as std string. And say this is my input. And uh, this variable, as a result of this program, will be populated by uh, characters that are being typed by the uh, uh, by the uh, 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 by the user, and uh, so I can echo it, it back, and I can essentially say stdc out. Uh, um, you entered, and I can display what that input was. So it it is very simple to input a string uh, like this, and uh, this uh, string input essentially is a dynamic container it can grow it can shrink and uh, it essentially gives you access to individual characters you can search within the string and uh, before I run this program I would like to show you something uh, std colon colon simply represents that those things string c out and sin came from the standard library so the actual name of each single one of these objects um, is uh, a, a an object that came from C++ standard library. If um, you want to simplify this notation, you can say that I'm actually using namespace std in, uh, with a semicolon at the end. And if you do this, you no longer need those std prefixes. So if you find this to be convenient and easier for you, then you can do something like that. Since we're going to be using a few more of these uh, standard library containers today, um, uh, I will uh, use this using namespace std 
to eliminate the need to uh, use this prefix uh, every time. Basically, what compiler is, is going to be doing is that as soon as it, it sees this name of the object uh, or, or object type, uh, which is a standard library, library string, we're basically telling the compiler, if you don't know what this is, make sure that to check this namespace, and you will be sure to find that specific uh, data type, such as string, in, in there. OK. Um, so uh, let's just run this. This is kind of silly program, but let's make sure that we can build it and run it. And if you follow along, you can, you can try it as well. All right. So I'm building. Everything builds fine. I'm going to send run this program by pressing Control F5 in this environment. As, and as always, I will be adjusting some of my properties here to make it all uh, nicer for us to look at. Okay, so welcome, please enter a string, hello, right, hit enter, you entered hello, press any key to continue, of course, it would be nice if I added a new line, um, and by the way, uh, there, there are many ways to do this, you can use a character string with new line escape character, which basically sends out a new line character to the to the uh, C out character output device. Or you can just send individual character with a single quote. And also in this uh, standard library, IO stream uh, header, there is also the so-called manipulator, which is std and the line. Uh, there's this, you can actually do that, which is guaranteeing that it's going to go out and uh, uh, display a new line in, on any, in any given environment. But because we're already using um, the using na namespace std uh, directive, uh, essentially what we're going to do is that, again, I'm going to get rid of that. And this is yet another way of displaying a new line at the end of the output. OK, so all these choices exist, right? So you can just you know, use uh, this, or you can use just a single character, uh, or you can use end line in this environment where we, we're, uh, we're trying to use today. OK, so this is our program so far. But what if I ask the user, so it's very easy to get a string of characters populated with string of characters, and I'll be showing you how I can basically access it later on. Uh, uh, also, if I wanted to have a collection of strings, OK? So if, if instead of using this single input, uh, displaying it back, uh, if I wanted to retain a sequence of uh, words, for example. In that case, uh, I would probably say um, I will create a loop, and it would look like this while input is, um, um, is uh, valid, like this, right? So essentially create a loop. Uh, and um, then I need some kind of container, right? A container of some sort where it would be nice to say, uh, say, push, right? Or push back, for instance, right? Push at the, uh, at the end of the container. That would be really nice if we could just say, just take this uh, input from us and remember it. That would be nice if we could get uh, a, a possibility to use the container like this. And then um, um, we could also say, um, Please um, enter a string, um, or uh, we can say we can change this to a set of words, right? Uh, words, something like that. And so we can essentially get this input in a loop. Uh, and we don't know what this container is just yet, but uh, in order to display it, we can just, instead of, again, using the input variable, which is now used only to get the string from the user, by the way, the, this input happens here, um, this uh, while loop uh, is using this input as, as its own condition, because if something bad happens to input, this loop will terminate, okay? For instance, if this input was coming from a file, 
and the file, we reach the end of file, this input will uh, return false uh, at the end of the file, and we would just nicely jump out of this loop. Okay, so this is a very standard practice to basically do the input while this input results in 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 good result in terms of it's it's not false because if something goes wrong with this input, this will return false and we will nicely exit out of the loop. Okay, so instead of uh, showing individual uh, individual, I'm I'm sorry, instead of showing the input, um, I will say word right, and it would be nice if I had a chance to do this also in a loop. For instance, I could say four. Uh, let me just uh, type this in for uh, integer index of some kind starting with zero just like with we did w before with a race I can say for as long as uh, index is less than container uh, container uh, container dot size right container dot size increment the index as we iterate through and uh, we can basically print out what we can print first of all I will say at the top right at the top of this I will say you entered right then I will just erase everything and just use the semicolon so I I will print you entered and inside the loop I will say uh, this is my loop this is the ending of my loop you instead of you entered I will be printing individual words uh, with uh, with a new line at the end, possibly, uh, but um, the way I would like to access this stuff is through basically an array type of notation. That would be nice if I had a container which I could first populate. Right, so over here I can say um, inside this loop, populate, uh, populate uh, my. Uh, uh, populate a set of words, perhaps, right? And then uh, right here inside this loop, I can say display individual uh, words, which were accumulated earlier on, right? So the only challenge is what is this container thing is? Right, so it's actually very simple. We're going to use another element of the library, include, and uh, this time we're going to say vector. In uh, C++ library, almost exclusively, uh, when you need a dynamic set of something, you choose a vector container. And first, just like we just just like we declared this input variable, we're going to declare a vector. But a vector has to, uh, and we can say container, right? Container, container. We're going to call it container. But vector needs the set of angle brackets, which will say container of what? In our case, containers of strings, uh, of course, right? So this is this is what we're going to do. So this is a vector of strings named container. So let's give this a try, right? So this is a very simple view of these resource manager uh, uh, types of objects. One is string, which manages individual characters and provides us an access to um, uh, dynamic string. And vector, of course, is resizable uh, container of things. Of course, when we create it, it's size is zero. It has no elements. But as we say push back, it, it, it gets populated with new elements. And we uh, can uh, explore that by essentially going back to this container and, uh, uh, and uh, displaying the results. So let's try that. So we, we just, I just compiled this code. Right, so this code did did get compiled. Now I'm just going to write. Uh, please enter a a set of words, and like one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Uh, by the way, words uh, are not just uh, alphabetical characters. Anything separated by white space, which I used as as space, uh, should be in. It should 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 get get the input right so right now 
what happens is that, uh, see how this program is waiting for my next action? I haven't hit the enter key yet. So we're, we're basically the, the program is hang up on this, on this input. Right now it just waits for more input because this sin character input device is, is designed so that basically it will accumulate user input until they hit the enter key. So right now I hit the enter key and then I get, oh, uh, seems like I've gotten into uh, into some trouble with this input. Uh, am I still entering anything? Yeah, oh, so I, I don't have a clean way of terminating this input. So I'll just press control C to terminate the program. And the thing is that I never get out of this loop. So I need to say, uh, enter a set of words um, followed by uh, um, uh, quit, right? So to, to, to stop the loop, uh, followed by quit. Uh, then I can say that if, right, if uh, input, or I should do this before I populate my container, right? I can say if input, if input equals uh, quit, this is very simple with strings, right? The strings can be compared by simply by equal equal sign. So if that's the case, basically uh, break and the break statement will take me out of this loop and so I will be uh, continue on. So I need to have some kind of uh, uh, keyword that terminates this loop. All right, so I'll just save that and build it again and run it again. Okay, so now I'm running it again. So now it says uh, enter a set of words followed by quit. And again, it's waiting on this uh, input uh, statement right there. So I'm just going to say um, um, one, two, three, four, something like that, and hit enter. Oh, and remember, I need to say quit. So then uh, I quit and it says, you entered one, two, three, four, and that essentially uh, uh, um, uh, uh, iterates uh, over uh, all of these individual words and uh, prints them back. And so this demonstrates a container, which is the container of strings, and the type of container, which is pretty pretty straightforward choice, uh, most of the dynamic arrays when you program in C++ are 95% of them. That big of a per percent is usually a, a vector of some kind of uh, um, a type of uh, uh, some some sort of a, uh, um, a vector vector of strings, vector of integers. If I wanted to uh, to use a vector of integers, I could do this, a vector, a vector of int, uh, and basically specify that this is a uh, an int uh, container. Uh, uh, that's uh, very simple. You can you can do something like that, and you can see that it's it's universal uh, type of dynamic container because it's so easy to uh, to uh, uh, create those objects. Just what you have to remember: just say that I'm using vector by including it, and of course we use string, so we include the string, uh, a standard library container. So um, obviously we're not using this object, but I'm just trying to demonstrate uh, uh, some of these things.